At a conference of company political instructors of the Korean People's Army, Kim Il-sung said, I hope that all the People's Army men and officers will regard Supreme Commander Kim Jong-il's orders as my own, obey his orders strictly, and loyally follow his leadership. The soldiers pledged their loyalty to the Supreme Commander with a determination to support him with arms. Let us be guns and bombs to defend the respected Supreme Commander Kim Jong-il with a do-or-die spirit. This is the inflexible determination and will of the men and officers of the Korean People's Army. Kim Jong-il enjoys boundless respect and absolute trust as the hero of the century because of the distinguished services he rendered for the party, the motherland and people. Kim Jong-il said, I believe that the people awarded me the title of hero as a token of their trust in me and their expectation that I will serve them with greater enthusiasm. I am determined to carry out the revolution always encouraged by the people's trust and expectations. Kim Il-sung said that our officials must wholeheartedly support comrade Kim Jong-il and that they must unite behind him to accomplish our revolutionary cause. As Kim Il-sung wish it, the Korean people will consolidate a single-hearted unity of the party, people and army centering on Kim Jong-il. The people are in the minds of Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il and vice versa. Nothing in the world can break the single-hearted unity of the leader, party and people in Korea.
As fatherly leader Kim Il-sung wish it, the Korean people will achieve national reunification and accomplish the Chuche revolutionary course under the guidance of the great leader Kim Jong-il.